Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the ATN Blazetrek 619 thermal imaging monocular. This little guy has got a 19 millimeter lens, 16 gigabytes of onboard memory, can be bus powered, can be Wi-Fi to the app, and it has the full 640 resolution. Amazing little unit. And a few other things I really like about it is that it's uh, water resistant, has a tripod mount bottom, flip latch top, keep moisture out of the lens. It comes with two diopter adjustable uh, uh, thresholds, one silicone and then the other one more of a rubber without the silicone eye cup. Adjustable uh, prescription essentially to your eye using the diopter adjustment here. Manual focus here does everything. So we're going to get into some more of the details now. All right, so let's just talk about what the unit looks like and its functionality and what you get in the box. So this is the monocular itself. This is what it looks like. It's very, very sleek. Slips right into a pocket, one of my favorite things. It has a flip latch top, 640 resolution. You can see it's marked on the lid. That little lens cover that you see does rotate and move. Uh, it's got a manual focus collar right on the front, as you can see there, as well as one on the back end near the diopter for adjusting to the prescription, like what your glasses or your eye would see, um, how to adjust it to your personal viewing preferences. Uh, silicone eye cup comes with a non-edged version of that as well, so it's more open, so you don't have to make contact to the skin with the eye cup. You'll have, you have options. It's got a Type-C input with a rubber gasket on the bottom to keep moisture out and a quarter mount tripod mount. It's really, really simple menu operation and it's got a three button use uh, layout. And then the power button is on the side as you can see right here, it's in that plastic inset. You just press and hold it and it comes on after about two seconds. So that is the imager itself. So now let's talk about what you get in the box. Just a nice little plain magnetized box you open it up and here you have a little slip holster this mounts on like a backpack or your waist belt um, it's got two attachment points that double velcro little kind of kangaroo style pouch love it that works really well on the outside of a day pack or on the side of your e-bike or whatever for mounting and getting a hold of it quickly and then you get this really nice a lot of the lanyards you get with outdoor equipment for anything, whether it be binoculars or whatever, is really crappy. It's either, it's heavyweight nylon, usually, um, and there's just, it's just very uncomfortable and saws on your neck. What's really nice is this has got that neoprene material, both sides, and this has got the, like, rubberized finish on the back, so it sticks right to your skin and doesn't move much, but it doesn't saw on the skin. It's got flat stitch nylon, really fine grade, so it doesn't make noise and rub, it's really nice, loose, keeps the monocular loose, hanging right tight to your stomach or your chest, wherever you have it. And it has an attachment here. Uh, here's the hard diopter, the harder one. It's like more like a plasticized rubber. It's not quite as soft and siliconized as the other one, but this is an option also. And then it comes with a wrist lanyard also. So if that's more of your deal, you have that as an option. And yeah, that's pretty much everything in the box outside of the instruction manual and a couple other things. You do, in fact, get a Type-C cable. I've got that plugged into a power bank currently to charge it up everywhere I go, um, as well as an instruction manual and a warranty card all come included. A couple key features that set this guy apart from all the rest is three-year warranty, IPX67 waterproof rating. It's very lightweight, actually pocketable. Um, and the six, uh, 640 resolution at 1700 bucks is pretty phenomenal. It has a 990 yard detection range for human beings, uh, which is actually really good. And it has a 25,000 millikelvin rated sensor. So it's got really good picture differentiation. So basically a color scale across from cold to hot, it has a lot of room to pick up different temperature variations, um, even in cold and wet conditions, so you don't get as much gray out as you do 
uh, with the cheaper sensors. Um, it's got a, the three-year warranty and just it has that amazing field of view. A lot of monoculars just don't have the field of view. This has a 22.8 by 18.3 field of view, which is awesome. Other monoculars, the typical problem is that it squeezes the sight picture down and pushes way in. The native magnification on this is 1.25 to 10. And it's got a lanyard attachment on the bottom, also contoured, shaped right into the unit's body, and it's water resistant. Uh, what I really love about this little guy is that you get over six hours of runtime on it. I think it's seven actually. Uh, it has a standby mode, uh, can shoot lots of video, can be bus powered, Wi Fi's to your phone. It, it has withstood every single test that I can throw at it. I've taken it out to use to detect deer, bedded down in remote locations, warm spots. Uh, you can see leaks in your house with this thing. Uh, it's just a great little tool for the outdoors guy. And what I love about this unit that you don't get with others is like a three button use on the top. So it's very difficult to hit the wrong button. There's only three buttons outside of the power button on the side here. Um, and it's truly pocket sized. It slips into a pocket and it doesn't get hung up. That's a huge thing. I'm a guy that's used everything from FLIR to Fluke, everything in between. Uh, so like ATN, AGM, Pulsar, Guide, Hick Micro, uh, a whole bunch, Seek, and then as I mentioned, ATN. I've used them all. And I love how pocket sized this is and how it, because it's got nothing to get hung up on, it just, just easily slips in and out of your pocket. So this is exactly the kind of imager you would want if you're in the back country and you're trying to get quick access to it, this is the one. I love it. And I've had, and being that this unit is around 1700 bucks and can be gotten on sale for lower than that a little bit, um, this is, this is great. To find 640 for 1700 bucks is hard to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some test footage uh, of how the unit performs in various environments, both wet and cold, early spring, winter. In Washington State like where I'm at right now as well as dry and warm uh, summer conditions uh, in at higher elevations as well as some close-up on animals to show heat distribution across like fur and texture as well as distant landscapes so you'll get some variety in there and get an idea of like what kind of detail you can see at 640.
Well, that should really do it. That should give you everything you need to know to uh, get the details on the Blaze Trek unit by ATN, the 619 model. Uh, one other little pro tip I'll give you before I go is uh, get yourself one of these little grip tripods for some, for your monocular. It makes you a lot more steady and you can flip these out these legs like this. Both There's uh, three total legs to become a tripod. And you can see the other ones in my grip here that it also flips out. And it just really helps steady you for looking around. And it also creates like a hook that you can kind of, when you close most of it up like this, you can slip over a waistband um, of your belt or your pack frame or whatever, and it'll hang there and not move too much. So, yeah, get one of these. There, uh, Vivitar makes them. A bunch of different companies make them, and you can get them at everything from Walmart to Amazon. So if you type in grip tripod handle, something like that, it'll pop up. Yeah. So with that, that'll conclude my review. If you guys have any questions, comments, or, or if I didn't cover something, let me know. I'll throw out some more details and answer as much as I can in the comments. So anyways, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and checking out the ATN Blaze Trek 619. And be sure to like and subscribe if you want more gear reviews and details. So thanks again. Have a nice day, everybody.